You hate ads, I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this channel ad free. Hello folks, welcome to Inkdependence. I'm Mike and this is my Colodex. It's one of my many Rolodexes full of colors and in this series of favorites, I take one of my subcategories, break it down to my top five for right now anyway, and then show them to you in no particular order today. We've got dusty purples. Okay, so this is one of the categories that is, uh, I think, one of my wife's favorite. She loves a nice dusty, or sometimes people say dusky sort of color. Uh, this one is Sailor Choo Shoe. I love this purple. This is another one of those purples that back when I was a purple hater, would uh, I would try to convince myself it wasn't actually purple, but this is an ink that I just keep coming back to. I've had it since at least 2016, and I, I love this ink. It stays long-term in some of my pens for sure. Next up. Kala Nostalgia Mongolian Sandstorm. Now, the Kala Nostalgia inks are known for being very mm, earth-toned and kind of taupey, and some of them are very dark, and some of them are, like, they're kind of samey in a lot of cases, but Mongolian Sandstorm is definitely a standout in that group. This one is uh, just a beautiful, uh, like, dusty, dusky sort of purple, and it always looks this way. This is a nanopigment ink. It is uh, nice and water-fast and all that jazz. It's a little bit on the wet side. As you can see, it was just falling off my glass nib up here, but it behaves very well in a pen. So give Mongolian Sandstorm a little bit of a look if you're looking for a water-resistant one. Then we have Robert Oster Viola, and this is one not to be missed. I got this one from Anderson Pens originally, and I, I've got to get a bottle of this. I think I only have a sample still, but all of these colors you see here, this multi-chrome, you see that from the pen. I don't have a writing sample on the back of this, but I used this in a Pilot Custom 74's medium nib for a very long time, just refilling it over and over again because you get all that multi-chrome out of just a medium pilot nib. It's it's a gorgeous ink, and you ought to try to find Viola if you like the look of this, because it is cool. All right, next up, Krishna Overcast Deep Lilac. Got this from Ryan uh, just a couple of years ago, and I I don't know if I've actually used this, but look at that beautiful, like, steady color there. I, I think that's hot, even though I haven't actually used this ink yet, I don't think. But beautiful looking ink, definitely worth checking out. Uh, and lastly, here in the regular series, Diamine's One More Sleep from the Inkvent calendar this year. I have this in a pen right now, and I actually filled it up for Audrey to use, and it didn't work out for on the paper she was trying to use it in. This is a pretty undersaturated ink, and so you get a lot of this color up here most of the time. Sometimes it will get dark enough that you'll get this action down here, but a lot of times you get this sort of uh, top line action, which is an interesting kind of dusty purple. I actually have been liking this quite a lot, even though it didn't work for Audrey on the paper she was using. It works on a lot of other papers. So a little situational, but definitely worth checking out for a dusty purple. And lastly, one honorable mention, because darn it, this is a great ink and you can't get any more. It is unobtainium. unobtainium. This is Blackstone Susumai series blue cashmere. I'm not actually sure where all this was sold. I got this from Lima Inc. I, I don't know, a long time ago. And Blackstone sadly does not exist anymore. They were an Australian ink maker and they've gone away, just disappeared. So it's too bad. But if you find uh, a bottle of blue cashmere sometime, I don't know, maybe somebody is de-stashing their ink or something uh, I would say grab it because it looks beautiful and it works great so check out blue cashmere also there should be a review of it on my channel somewhere so you can go and check out a full review of that one for sure so there you go there's my top five plus one honorable mention of uh, dusty purples just an interesting range of purple here right very dark light multi-chrome medium pigmented bluish like all kinds of things fit in this dusty purple category for me uh, so there you go dusty purples uh, until next time Barahe.